Right, these are the radios that we're taking out today. The UV82, the Shikan, the KG UVD one p the T1, the WLN, the FT23R, the OnlyWiz, and the TSSD. Right, let's get out there and test these radios. Okay, we've got people behind us. Back and back. Go for another walk with a few radios. I literally haven't been out of the house all week before anyone says anything. This is the first time I've been outside, so I uh, figured today would be a good uh, day as it's supposed to be nice weather, although it's not that brilliant at the minute. But we've got a couple more, well, six, seven, eight pink radios. We even got an old FT23R. I thought we'd uh, have a go on VHF today, see if that works. So uh, we'll go to our usual spot. Like I say, we're not going to bother with the first location. Let's get down to the usual spot and uh, give it a try. Right, it's a teeny bit windy again today. I looked at uh, the forecast, because it was a bit windy the other day, but I couldn't do it, pick another day really. It was just going to be pretty much the same for about a week. So I figured, you know, if I wait for it to be totally windless, I'll be waiting quite a while. Right, let's press on. I'm going to drop down the bank, get out of the wind a little bit idea of roughly where the site is compared to where we are if you see over that tree line there there's that's the shape of the hill and the creek where we go is down the other side of that hill so in about another quarter of a mile so you can see I showed on the very first video the actual uh, elevation profile so if you're interested that's kind of the terrain you're looking at and the house the way that we come from my house is about a quarter of a mile away back that way in this direction but on the same sort of level so we're on the same level as this bit of ground here so that gives you some idea of the sort of terrain you're looking at so a couple of big hills in the way really and lots of trees and shrubs so if you're using these radios outdoors and you're wondering that's what that's kind of the sort of reference we've got with this years ago I used to play golf <laughs> as I said this used to be a driving range out of bounds do not retrieve balls mmm no rude jokes please Right, we're down at the lake. Cue some nice aerial footage. And before anyone says anything, this was taken probably 18 months ago. But I thought I'd throw it in there because I remembered I'd done some recording here. So I'll stick that on. I don't think they would consider what I'm doing as essential, but I'm combining exercise, you see, with my day job. I get paid for this, don't forget. Not very much, but it, you know, buys me a few radios. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm okay. And we're staying the hell away from people. I mean, I generally like to stay the hell away from people anyway, I don't know about you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Social distancing. <laughs> Let's keep that up. <laughs> Just kidding, I love people really. Yeah, so this is the... Yeah, nothing's changed here apart from those horrible bottles that were floating about. That wasn't nice, was it? I'd like to get here and sort that out. I mean, get a bit of a clear time. A bit of clear time. Hope some of you are finding these uh, range test videos useful. I mean, I know some of these radios are no longer available to buy new, but there's a lot of second-hand stuff for sale on eBay and Gumtree and places like that. So, and there's some little crackers to be had. I mean, one of the radios I brought out today, the WLN, that's a brilliant little radio, particularly for kids. It's got everything, really good audio quality, compact, small, battery is amazing. I had to buy a new battery for one of them because I'd left it discharged. £2.50 off of eBay because they're Nokia batteries, you see. So, yeah, brilliant little radio. We'll be testing that in a bit. So, if you are on the lookout, but you don't want to spend too much, you want a really good all rounder. So, recommend them. And there's a, there's a good review of that on my channel. There's also a good review on Ringway Manchester's channel if you want to go and check that out. And uh, yeah, pick up some of those little sets. Another useful tool, uh, I know I slated it a little bit on the review I did of it, is the uh, GY561. If you're out and about and you've got um, radios programmed with no screens and you forget what channels you're on, 
really useful little tool. The Acer FT23R, bit of a classic there. The, uh, if you want to check out my channel, I've done a video on this where it, it shows me resurrecting the battery on it and getting a USB charger. But this was probably the first radio that I got, proper radio that I got when I, got, when I started the hobby. I used to run packet radio, uh, tiny 22s on these, the old Siskin jobs. And uh, so yeah, it's seen a lot of activity, this little set, and it's still working. So we're gonna test it today. Right, we're here down at the creek. And what we might do if we get time is go around the corner and do a little bit of filming uh, a little bit further away. People have requested if we can do that. But I have got another video coming up where I'm going to take all the radios further away. So keep your, keep your eyes peeled on the channel for that one. That should be interesting. But if we get time, we might just pop around the corner, give them a bit more of a test. But let's just test them from this reference point so you can reference them against the other radios, okay? All right, the first radio is the UV82, not the Plus, the original one. This is G7LNK portable with the UV82, the UV82 in the second location down by the creek. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. G7LNK portable with the UV82, the UV82 in the second location down by the creek. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is G7LNK portable with the Shikun SQ800 down by the creek. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is G7LNK portable with the Shikun SQ800 down by the creek. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, another favourite there, the, uh, the Baofeng T1. Um, compact little radio, useful. This might struggle from this location, let's give it a go. This is G7 LNK portable. G7 LNK portable down by the creek with the Baofeng, the Baofeng T1. Right, the wind's annoyingly picking up now. The WLNKDC1, this is the radio I was mentioning, a very good little radio. Uh, again, I think this might struggle a little bit from here, let's try. This is G7 LNK portable, the WLNKDC1, down by the creek, testing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. LNK portable, down by the creek, testing. Another bit of an old classic radio here, the uh, the Woshun or Woxun, whichever way you want to pronounce it, uh, KG UVD 1P. Had this quite a while now. Um, I had to coax the battery back into life. It had been dormant for quite a while, but these are a really good, uh, a good little radio. Sort of a mix in between a sort of a good quality Chinese radio and a budget radio uh, with some decent features and quite good, uh, quite good reception actually on this particular one. I don't know why, but. Let's see if uh, how it cuts through the mustard. Back to base. Let's try it. This is G7 LNK portable. G7 LNK portable. There you go. G7 LNK portable. G7 LNK portable with the Woshan KG UVD 1P. Down by the creek. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. G7 LNK portable, G7 LNK portable with the Woshan KG UVD 1P down by the creek, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. All right, the wind's dropped down, that's good. Uh, the Oli Wiz, if you've not seen the review of this budget radio I've done, have a look, it's on the channel, a couple of videos back there. Really good little budget radio, this one, uh, very similar to the Triple Eight and uh, we're going to see it cut through quite well before, so we're going to we're going to try it again. This is uh, G7 LNK, G7 LNK portable with the Oli. This is uh, G7 LNK, G7 LNK portable with the Oli Wiz. Down by the creek testing. 
One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right, another uh, budget radio this time, the TSSD. Uh, a bit of a magpie with this one when I saw it. I was attracted to the, the gold <laughs> microphone shield on it. That's a bit shallow, isn't it? But uh, actually quite a robust little radio. Not bad at all. Uh, let's see how well this one cuts through. This is G7LNK Portable. G7LNK Portable with the TSSD. This is G7LNK Portable. G7LNK Portable with the TSSD. Down by the creek testing. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, with FT23R, let's try it. This is G7LNK Portable. G7LNK Portable. Down by the creek, bottom of the hill with the Yesu. FT23R, the oldest radio on test here on two meters. This is G7LNK Portable. G7LNK Portable. Down by the creek, bottom of the hill. Hey mate, what's the time? Half past two. Do you reckon we've got time to do a bit more testing? Yes. Okay. Right, uh, we're going to, as we've got a bit of time, it's only half past two, we're going to go around the corner, going to go about another quarter of a mile to half a mile right down the dip again and see how we get on down there. We're going to push the radios a little bit more because I think pretty much, I don't know because I haven't checked the results, but I think pretty much they'll have all got in from here okay. Uh, so we're going to just push it a little bit further by going around the corner and then it probably is going to squeeze out some of the aerials with the built-in antennas like the uh, WLN and the Baofeng T1. So let's um, go around the corner over the hill and try that. 